before I give you an example about the Caesar cipher, uh, let's recall a couple of things that are important. So the first one is that there are a couple of people to want to communicate. Communicate. One of them is called that Alice, and the other person Bob. And they want to communicate through an insecure channel. So let's call this one the insecure, the insecure channel. Uh, for example, the internet. And we always gonna assume that there's another person uh, listening to these uh, messages all the time. And we're gonna call this person Eve. Now, under this setup, we're gonna assume that Eve can listen to the messages, but uh, cannot change the messages. So that's an important assumption that we're gonna talk about uh, uh, later. So this is the setup. So basically two people who want to communicate through an insecure channel and another one who is listening to those messages. And of course Alice and Bob want to communicate so the Eve cannot actually understand what the messages are. Now there are a couple of definitions that are important here. So the first definition is uh, what plain text is. And this is going to be used uh, throughout the course many times. So plain text is the message that you want to send. So message uh, to be sent. Now that's not actually the message that is being sent. That's the one that you want the other person uh, to read or, or to understand. The message that is actually sent to the insecure channel is the cipher text. Uh, this is the message that is actually sent. That is actually my mistake. Let me erase that. Actually sent. So usually, what this is is the cipher text will be scramble. Uh, and so it will be uh, not, it will not make any sense for someone who reads it. Now, these are a couple of things, the couple of definitions that are important. The other thing that is also important to mention is uh, the plain text, text and the cipher text will assume that all the messages are gonna be uppercase uh, letters. And of course, all of them will come from the English alphabet. So uh, there's a couple of assumptions we're gonna have here. So the assumptions, the assumption number one is that all messages are in uppercase letters. Of course, this doesn't have to be the case when you actually send it messages. Uh, the only reason we are making this assumption now is to make things a little bit more uh, simple uh, for what we are doing. Of course, you can send messages with all kinds of uppercase, lowercase, and other characters. But just to simplify the examples, we're going to use just uh, text or uh, plain text that are all in uppercase. And of course, the cipher text will also be uppercase letters in the English alphabet. Uh, and the other assumption, uh, assumption number two, is that Eve cannot change the message. So she can only, uh, she or he, uh, can only listen but not change the message. So these are a couple of important things we're gonna assume uh, before we actually go into the example. So let's recall again what we just did here. So again, so we have two people, Alice and Bob, who want to communicate through an insecure channel. Eve is, Eve is always listening, but cannot change the messages. Couple of important definitions. The plain text is the message that uh, you want to send. That is not the message that is actually sent. The message that is actually sent is the cipher text that is in a scramble version of the plain text. And the assumption that we are making for uh, uh, this uh, cipher is that all messages are in uppercase letters, English alphabet, and that Eve cannot change the messages.